another year, another SAG Awards. How is the ceremony going to look different this year? I don't think the ceremony will look different, but the feeling's different because now we merged with AFTRA, and so uh, that's behind us, and now we're, we're developing uh, as a new, a bigger, stronger, better union. So that's uh, part of the celebrational air here, and, uh, and I look forward to it. It's great. Much less drama behind the scenes this year. How difficult is it for you to handle both your um, SAG after responsibilities and your acting duties and your career personally? Well, sometimes it gets a little tight, but uh, part of the charter is that work comes first, work and family. So sometimes it's a squeeze, but uh, whenever there are opportunities that I want, uh, you know, I fulfill them as an actor. And then sometimes it makes for a busy week, but it's fine. Since we're here, obviously, about acting and your peers, is there a performance you remember that inspired you, that wanted, made you want to become an actor? For some reason, Paul Schofield in Man for All Seasons on the stage in Broadway, I think I was already leaning in that direction, but I never forgot it. It was indelible. Also, uh, there were others, but that's the one that came to mind. I thought you were going to ask about this year's nominees, and I was going to say, uh, among others, Daniel Day-Lewis, who it was amazing inhabiting the role of uh, Abraham Lincoln. Thank you so much. Thanks.